Hello, whoa, 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 who
embarrassing. There's like a patch that is brown. That patch is what you're concerned about. Not the rest of the hair, just the patch. I just finished putting the toner in my hair. What the f is that? Um, it's already turning purple because purple cancels out the orange and like the yellow brassy tones in my hair so it won't well, be like yeah anymore. cancels out yellow it'll be actual blonde so i have to leave this in for like 25 minutes and then i'm gonna wash it out all right so and it looks no different <laughs> after the toner it's still a little bit brassy i like how she knew to take that extra step and kind of like pre-tone her hair before doing the blue however we somehow ended up starting with the roots and applying the color on the roots first we can't ever just have a video where they do every single thing right. They has to be like, oh, I did this correctly. Oh, and then I really screwed up this. And it's like, oh, I did that correctly. And then it's like, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this thing. You know what I mean? Why is that? I was going to leave my hair blonde like this for a while and then dye it. But I'm just going to dye it now. I'm really impatient and I just want to dye my hair already. And plus, I don't think this looks the best on me. She's living though. She's not concerned one uh, bit. So the dyes that I that I'm using, if y'all are wondering, this one is in ultraviolet, and then this one is in rockabilly blue. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I think that this is gonna be a mess. No, you could probably say it already is a mess, actually. All over your body. So, I've had my hair... Okay, this actually might look really good. It's gonna be pretty patchy and uneven, but, like, at the same time, like, who really cares? I feel like it's gonna be a good look for her, so I'm not too mad about it, but I'm a little bit mad about it, but, like, I could be more mad about it, but I'm this mad about it, not mad about it, and let's see what the outcome is. I'm gonna rinse it out. And then I'll show y'all it later when I get ready and actually look good. <laughs> Could have sworn I was just looking at like a 13 year old girl do her hair for the last 10 minutes and all of a sudden she's a grown ass woman. <laughs> Is this the same girl? I'm not mad at it though. When did her hair get so long? I kind of look like a troll. No, you look like a kawaii girl. Oh my god, dude, she looks stunning. I'm not mad at it. It's fine. I still really like this blue. Dude, that was such a transformation. Oh my god. This is my new hair. Um, If you don't like it, Ah. Uh, me if I care. Who doesn't like it? But yeah, that was the video of me bleaching and dyeing my hair. Dude, how did that come out so good? She got really lucky. She looks so good. That was such a cool transformation. Ah. Wow, that was like exciting for me. Let's move on. Oh my God, that was a lot for me. All right, our next video is by Tina Halada and it's dyeing my hair blue vlog plus random chats. Okay. Today I'm going to be acting on a very impulsive decision. I tweeted like a few days ago, I was like, I feel like dyeing my hair blue, don't know why. Everybody needs a blue moment at some point in their life. Yeah, okay, awesome. Tina. I also look a mess right now, trust me. I'm so aware I look batshit crazy. You look great, Tina. You look great. Yeah, so I dyed my roots the other day because my roots were grown out. Basically, what had happened was, for some reason, my hair just would not pick up, like, the toner where my roots were dyed. Like, literally the only place I needed the toner to be. Well, I mean... Tina, listen here, girl. It's not usually that the toner doesn't pick up. It's usually because the roots weren't light enough when you put the toner on. So the toner cannot affect the color because it's not light enough yet. Do you understand what I'm saying, Tina? Therefore, the toner doesn't pick up. Wow, did I just go in a circle? I guess Tina was right. The toner did not pick up, but it's because your roots weren't light enough or you just didn't mix the toner right. At this point, I've completely lost my train of thought and we're just gonna keep watching the video and pretend that didn't happen. All right, thanks, okay. Okay, uh, before we start this video, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be using. I I've never dyed my hair a color before, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. So this is the Live Prime Unicorn Hair, and this one is in the shade Powder, which this is what it should look like. You can't really see that. Okay. Color, it's, it's like, like gray blue. blue. It's actually like the, probably the worst quality video I've ever uploaded on YouTube. Like, I don't have any lights set up. I just have the lights on in my bathroom. Figure, you know, maybe not go straight to the neon blue and just do something a little bit more low key first. This isn't low key at all, though. It's still gonna be blue. Especially since I have platinum hair, like the color is gonna pick up. Oh, that looks 
so dark. The reason that I'm using this brand and this type is because it's gonna be temporary. This is what happens. I don't know what it is about blonde people. Yeah, you. But we all have this desire to just f up our hair as much as possible. And in any way, shape, or form, we can make that happen. I don't know why, but you either wanna just go red, you wanna go purple, you wanna go pink. You never just wanna stay blonde for some reason. It's just like always that craving to just like color it a different color. I have that craving all the time, but I just suppress it. I'm really good at suppressing things. So um, I have a lot of experience with that throughout my life. Just keeps pressing and a lot of people don't. And this is what happens is you color your hair blue and then I bet she's gonna hate it and regret it. I'm guessing. It's gonna last me about like a week in my hair and then it'll wash out. I don't like, know about now. that. Just in case, I don't want my hair to end up being green. It looks really, really bright blue, but yeah, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Watched a couple YouTube videos where people would dilute this, but I don't know if I want to. My hair is like freshly dyed. I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> so it's kind of fine. This is gonna be it's so really blue, so dry. blue. Oil or something. I'm so for this idea, but I just don't think Tina is exactly ready for it from how she's acting. I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm not wearing gloves just because I heard that you don't really have to with this. Great. So I'm just gonna love my sleeves. Okay, I actually really like this sweater, so I don't want to ruin it. I know there's gonna be dye on it either way though, so. Uh, ah! What am I doing? I'm uh, so nervous. That's the uh, hardest part of my hair is like fully toned. <laughs> Green. Hey, Tina knows color theory because when blue and yellow mix together, it causes green to happen. Makes green. So she thinks her roots are gonna turn green and her ends are gonna turn blue, which <laughs> might be the case. I wouldn't recommend making your, when you're working on a canvas, right? You're gonna paint it blue. You gotta make sure that canvas is neat and clean and perfectly prepared. And it, you shouldn't have orange roots, white ends. You should have it all be beautifully white and perfectly toned before then putting the blue on. That's what's gonna give you the best results. Otherwise, you're gonna get all different colors everywhere and it's gonna be such a disaster and that might just be what happens. So this blue is a beautiful shade. It's something I just keep going like over and over and over. It's kind of like a grayish, purplish, blue, pastel. It's giving me a lot of vibes and I think it's gonna be very good for her. However, I still don't think she's gonna like it. I don't know. I've dealt with a lot of indecisive clients throughout the years and she definitely seems like one of them. And I know what happens when you try a different color on those indecisive clients, they go, <gasps> why did you do that to me? And you're like, you asked for that. And then they're like, yeah, but why did you actually do it? And I'm like, you literally made an appointment to get this done today and you forced me to color your hair blue. And they're like, why don't you convince me not to do it? And I'm like, because I want your money. Mm -hmm, that's why. No, I'm kidding. Well, sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. If I don't like something on somebody, if I don't think it's gonna look good, then I don't do it. If I do think it's gonna look good, then I do do it. And uh, yeah, usually I like blue hair, so I do it. And they don't like it. And they're f***ing freaked out by it. And then I'm like, <laughs> sucks to suck. Ugh. Your hands are gonna be so stained. Wasn't gonna dye my hands. My hands are blue. Dumb bitch of the fucking century. It's literally dye. Why would it not dye your skin? So I just finished my whole, oh. head, like, the whole dying part, you guys. I need to like clean up my forehead. I also need to clean my bathroom. My bathroom is a mess. I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to I see it. I just my timer for about 30, 40 minutes. I'm not sure how like blue I want to go. You can't exactly decide how blue you want to go after the color's on your head already. Just saying, I mean. I just did my makeup because I'm getting ready to go out. It's so much bluer than I thought it was gonna be. Like, so ah! much bluer than ah! I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a blue tint, but it's blue and I don't think there's any going back. Ah! <laughs> I feel like this is the Aquafina hair color. Wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. Lighter side, so I guess I'm just gonna wash my hair again tonight. Hopefully speed up like the thing. Blow dry it. So yeah, it is gonna fade to like a lighter blue color. That's why I'm like not freaking out right now. It's still wet, I just rinsed it out and I'm gonna have to wait on blow dry it here to let me borrow her blow dryer because I broke mine. Remember I was saying yesterday I was like I'm gonna dye my hair. I love it. <laughs> I really love it. What? Oh my god. Calm down. Ew. My hair looks really flat. Wait, because I think they in a row I've dyed it. I feel like a 
bunch of like memes now. Everyone's just gonna make fun of me. <laughs> no, you look amazing. What what's the issue here? I don't understand. Didn't you dye your hair gray? It looks like a steel gray. I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely uneven. That is 100% for sure a fact. Do I like it? Yes. Is it more of a steel gray? Yes. Am I okay with that? Yes. Is it still kind of cool? Yeah. If you shed, like it's just gonna be blue hair. <laughs> I love it. Dude, she looks sick. Like a powder blue. Oh, I just threw out the package. Oh my God. But it's gonna be a lot lighter than this. I'm not that mad at it though. No, I kinda <laughs> like it. Whenever a client tells you they don't like their hair color, oh, just go home and wash it. It's gonna fade. Just give it a few shampoos. Um, yeah, no, you can go home and it'll fade. And they're like, are you sure? You're like, it'll fade. Yeah, in like two years, it'll fade. Um, they're like, what? Two years, it'll fade. I know. Style it. Like, what do I do now? <laughs> what do I do now? She looks so cool. That was also amazing. I mean, it wasn't perfect, obviously, but like, it still looked incredible. I don't think it needs to be perfect. It's blue hair. It's supposed to look kind of punky and weird and fun. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't need to be perfect. I loved it. It was sickening. It was so cool. It was awesome. It was great. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I want more of that. I hope I inspire you to now go and color your hair blue. <laughs> Just don't it up or do and record it. I'm struggling right now for content. When you spend years doing hair just reacts, you actually end up not having many things to react to anymore. No, I'm just kidding. There's actually a bunch of stuff still. We're just getting started here. Blue hair is incredible. That's what I learned today. Well, I relearned that. I already knew that, but I also like forgot about it for a little while. And now I remembered blue hair is sickening and I want it now and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to hold myself back and I'm not going to color my hair blue because that would be bad. Would it be? Yeah, it'll be pretty bad. So I'm not gonna do that, but um, these girls look amazing. I think it really refreshed their look and made looks were fun and cool and all those things. So if you're thinking about doing your hair blue, I say go for it. It's fun, it's cool. I think it looks great on pretty much everybody. All right, that is all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok if you wanna, at BradMondoNYC. You can also follow my hair care brand, XMondoHair on Instagram and check out the products linked below. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.